Solar Cycle 25 is here, and it's already making a significant impact. Satellites are being knocked out of orbit, and extraordinary auroras are appearing far from their usual locations. In this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at Solar Cycle 25, discuss what we can expect at its peak, and explore its effects on our technology and daily lives. We'll examine the latest issues with satellites, the potential risks to aviation and power systems, and compare this solar cycle to previous ones. Let's get started and see what all the buzz is about. Let's explore the recent developments in Solar Cycle 25, which has been accelerating more rapidly than expected, leading to significant incidents and escalating risks. In February 2022, a geomagnetic storm proved just how vulnerable our technology is when it caused 40 Starlink satellites to fall out of orbit and disintegrate in the Earth's atmosphere. In response to these challenges, SpaceX has significantly bolstered its defenses against solar activity. By enhancing forecasting techniques, adjusting satellite orbits to higher altitudes, adding multi-layer insulation for better radiation protection, and implementing operational changes such as placing satellites in hibernation mode during solar storms, SpaceX has shown a commitment to resilience. This was evident in May 2024, when all Starlink satellites successfully withstood a major solar storm, demonstrating the effectiveness of these upgraded measures. Beyond the well-known Starlink constellation, other satellite constellations, including GPS, weather satellites, and scientific observatories, have also experienced disruptions due to solar activity. For instance, the May 2024 solar storm caused several satellites to lose their orbits, highlighting the need for robust protection and monitoring systems. The past year has also been marked by other significant solar events. On December 31, 2023, we witnessed the largest solar flare since 2017, an X5-0 event that led to temporary radio blackouts and dramatically enhanced auroras. This was followed by an August 2023 flare that disrupted radio and navigation signals across North America, underscoring the increasing activity of the sun. The International Space Station, ISS, continues to be a critical player in monitoring these developments. Despite not experiencing major disruptions recently, the vigilance on the ISS remains high. According to NASA, the ISS is equipped with shielding and radiation monitoring instruments to protect both the crew and sensitive electronics from increased solar activity. This proactive approach is vital as we edge closer to the peak of Solar Cycle 25, expected between January and October 2024, with potential variability stretching into 2025. Moreover, the reach of solar activity extends beyond just space-based systems. On December 14, 2023, a solar flare temporarily disrupted aircraft communications, reminding us of the widespread impact these celestial phenomena can have on different aspects of our technological infrastructure. As we approach the peak of Solar Cycle 25, we're poised to witness a period of significant solar activity, expected to reach its peak in 2025, with sunspot numbers potentially ranging between 105 and 125. This surge in solar phenomena, including frequent and intense sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections, CMEs, can profoundly impact our planet. These celestial events, while capable of producing spectacular auroras, also pose substantial risks to our technological and infrastructural systems. The heightened solar activity offers unique scientific opportunities, such as the total solar eclipse on April 8, 2024. This event provided a rare chance to observe the sun's corona and potentially capture a coronal mass ejection in real time. Observations during such phenomena are not only awe-inspiring, but also crucial to our scientific understanding of solar behavior during peak periods of activity. Predictions about the solar cycle are vital for a variety of sectors. For example, the lifetime of satellites in low Earth orbit is closely tied to these predictions, as solar activity increases atmospheric drag, affecting satellite durability. A higher solar maximum can decrease satellite life expectancy, whereas a lower maximum might extend it. To track and predict these events, 
various tools and models are employed, such as monitoring sunspot numbers and F10, 7 cm radio flux. These tools provide monthly average data and a smoothed overview of current and historical solar cycles. Comparing Solar Cycle 25 with its predecessors reveals a notable escalation in both intensity and pace. As of June 2024, Solar Cycle 25 is averaging 30% more sunspots per day than Solar Cycle 24 at the same point in its cycle. This increased pace not only suggests a robust cycle, but also indicates that we could face more significant space weather implications than initially expected. Despite initial predictions that varied widely, ranging from expectations of a weak cycle akin to Solar Cycle 24 to forecasts of a much stronger cycle. Observations from the first few years have consistently exceeded these predictions, pointing to a far more active cycle than many experts had anticipated. This shift towards heightened solar activity underscores the importance of being well prepared for its impacts. The continuous improvements in space weather monitoring and predictive capabilities are crucial for adapting to these changes, helping industries and governments safeguard critical technologies and infrastructures against potential disruptions. Power grids are particularly sensitive to geomagnetic storms, as demonstrated by the 1989 Quebec power outage. This incident, where a solar storm induced electrical currents causing widespread blackouts and infrastructure damage, highlights the severe disruptions that can occur. Modern power systems, therefore, incorporate robust monitoring and protective measures to enhance grid resilience against similar future events, aiming to prevent significant economic losses and maintain reliable power supply. The increased radiation from solar flares poses significant risks, especially for aviation operations at high altitudes near the poles. Airlines and aviation authorities must continuously monitor space weather conditions to adjust flight paths and altitudes appropriately, minimizing radiation exposure to crew and passengers. This proactive approach is essential for ensuring the safety and health of all aboard, particularly during peak periods of solar activity. While many are familiar with the historic Carrington event of 1859, its potential recurrence today could be devastating given our reliance on electronic technologies and infrastructure. Preparing for such a massive solar storm involves implementing advanced monitoring systems and developing robust protective strategies across all sectors. This proactive preparedness is crucial to mitigate the potentially catastrophic effects of such intense solar phenomena. In conclusion, Solar Cycle 25 is bringing a period of heightened solar activity that will have far-reaching impacts on our planet. From stunning auroras to disruptions in technology and infrastructure, Understanding these phenomena is crucial for staying prepared. By monitoring space weather and implementing protective measures, we can mitigate the risks and ensure the resilience of our systems. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates on this fascinating topic.